Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, I'm going to talk about immunofixation assay, also called as immunofixation technique. Immunofixation technique allows the detection and typing of immunoglobulins, or specifically monoclonal antibodies in serum or you can say urine. The method is of immense significance in the diagnosis and also monitoring of certain diseases such as myeloma. Talking about the technical point of this method, it consists of an electrophoresis phase and a fixation phase. So basically the technique make use of two separate techniques. The principle of immunofixation. So the method detects the antibodies by precipitation. When a specific soluble antigen is allowed to interact with the corresponding antibody, what you would observe? Of course, the precipitation occurs. And the precipitation may be visible to your naked eye or can be seen through a microscope also. Now, the technique detects antibodies in a mixture according to their specific electrophoretic mobility. As the different antibodies move with varying rate under the influence of an electric field. Now, in order to identify antibody, only those antigens are selected that are specific for the targeted antibody. The method permits the identification of monoclonal antibodies that represents diseases such as myeloma or more importantly, Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. Now let's talk about how the technique works. As we know, the technique requires electrophoresis. So for that we cast a gel. Now we need to deposit a serum or urine sample on this gel. In technical words we say, the gel is loaded with a serum or urine sample that contains mixture of proteins. So after the sample is loaded, an electric current is applied for a required period of time. Under the influence of the established electric field, the proteins are separated according to their electrophoretic mobility. Now, this electrophoretic mobility depends upon size and molecular weight. After this, antibodies specific for each type of immunoglobulin are laid upon the gel. So that's another round of electrophoresis following which you would see the immunofixation. Now let's talk about the result and interpretation. So the technique can identify both a normal pattern or it can detect a monoclonal protein and also a pattern specific for polyclonal immunoglobulins. Talking about the normal results, it includes immunoglobulin G which shows a darker lane. And if it's about immunoglobulin A, the lane would be lighter. To identify the patterns more accurately in a normal result, you must observe that if the lanes are broad. In addition to this, if the color density is gradually and smoothly reducing towards the edges of the lane. Sometimes, all the lanes are homogeneously darkened to the same degree. This particular pattern shows the presence of polyclonal immunoglobulins. And if a narrow band is identified that has sharp borders, it means we are dealing with monoclonal protein. This is important. It's in case of immunofixation in cerebrospinal fluid, but not in serum. So, when there are many bands with sharp borders, the result is positive for oligoclonal bands. This was all. Thanks for watching.